Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rosemary. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe, comment and give me a thumbs up. In this video, I'll be showing you how I braid fox locks on short hair. If you want to learn how to braid, continue watching. I am going to use this ombre dreads. I cut it in half and it looks like this. I am going to also use hair gel and yarn or wool. This style can last for more than a month. If you want to keep it longer, please follow each and every step in this tutorial. With hair washed and well moisturized, I'm going to section the hair accordingly. Please note that I am going to use small sections because the hair is short. To start braiding, I'm going to unravel a small section of the dread, making sure that the other side of the dread is not affected. So to prevent the unraveling, I'm going to hold it tightly. If the hair ends are not thin, I recommend using a small comb so that the dread can last long. While combing, please make sure that you hold the other side of the dread tightly so. Using a wool, I'm going to combine one dread strand with the natural hair, then braid using a wool until when the natural hair is hidden. When I'm done braiding, I'm going to tie the hair ends. After that, cut the excess wool. The following step is to take the second strand and use it to wrap the dread and the natural hair. While rotating the strand or winding it, make sure that you flatten it so that it can cover the hair totally. When I'm done winding the first strand, I'm going to use the second strand to continue covering the dread. And then when I'm about to finish winding the strand, I'm going to rotate it towards the hair roots to prevent unraveling. So I'm just gonna show you one more time how I achieved the fox locks on short hair. So I'm just gonna unravel some small part of the dread and then divide it into two and then make sure that I have like some hair ends. If you feel like you're going to pull the other side of the dread, just use a small comb so that you can comb out. I found out that it was easier and it, it didn't really disturb the other side of the dread. Then after doing that, you're just going to combine one of the strand with the hair and braid it together with the natural hair using a wool.
So when I'm done braiding with the wool, I'm just going to tie where the natural hair ends and then cut the excess wool. So after that, I'm going to take the real dread, mix it with the braided hair with the wool and take the, the second strand and wind or rotate over the natural hair and the real dread. When I'm done winding the first strand, I'm going to use the second strand to continue covering the dread. When I'm about to finish winding the strand, I'm going to rotate it towards the hair roots to prevent unraveling. Also, please note that if you have long hair, you might not want to use this method because it's going to shorten the dread. Unless if you have very long dreads, then you can use it. If not, then for long hair braiding technique, I will be posting a tutorial soon. So please subscribe if you haven't, so that you'll be the first to know when I upload. Thank you, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed watching it, please give me a thumbs up. Please also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. And really guys, I really, really, really appreciate your support. I see it every day and wow, I'm really happy about it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you in the next video.